This problem consists of a long current carrying wire and close to it is a rectangular loop that also carries a current. So the long wire, I'm going to call that current I1. The loop, I'm going to call that current I2. The dimensions here, R1, R2, and L, are given in the textbook. And we're trying to find the net force on this loop of wire due to the magnetic field from the long straight wire. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the magnetic field from the long straight wire. So we have a long straight wire carrying a current I1. And using the right hand rule, put our thumb in the direction of the current and we're kind of let our fingers roll around this wire. We can see that everywhere above this wire, the magnetic field will be up out of the page. And everywhere below this wire, it will be down into the page. So our loop of wire is in this region right here and it carries a current clockwise around it. So what's the direction of the force on each one of these segments of the wire loop? Well, on the top segment, the current is going to the right. The magnetic field is into the board. So we have a force that's up. I'll call that uh, F2. And on the left side, we have a current going up, magnetic field into the board. So we have, I'm going to call that F1 going to the left. On the opposite side, We've got F3 going to the right, and on the bottom we've got F4 going down. So sides 1, 2, 3, and 4 have the forces on them that you see here. So one thing you want to take a close look at is that F2 is going to be larger than F4. because it's closer to the wire. It's, in a, it's carrying the same current in a stronger magnetic field, so it's going to feel a greater force. So this wire loop will have a net force in the upward direction, because F2 is greater than F4. And F1 and F3 have equal magnitudes because the magnetic field strength along wire F3, it's not constant, right? As you move away from this long current carrying wire, the magnetic field drops off, but it's the exact same magnetic field that the other wire sees. They both carry the same current in opposite directions, so those forces are equal and opposite. So this loop doesn't feel a force left or right. It only feels a net force in the upward direction. So what we have to do is figure out what F2 and F4 are. So F2 is going to be I2 times L cross B. And that's going to equal I2 times L times B because the uh, sine of uh, 90 degrees just gives us 1. And this is actually the, I'm going to plug in for my magnetic field here. This is I2 times L times mu naught I1 over 2 pi R1. And I could do the same thing for the force on side 4. It is going to be I2 L cross B, I2 L mu naught I1 over 2 pi R2. And I have already indicated the directions. F2 is uh, in the upward direction, 
F1 is towards the bottom of the page. And I just have to combine them now. The net force is going to be F2 minus F4. I believe it's mu naught L, I1, I2 over 2 pi times 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2, and it's going to be in the upward direction. So the main thing here is recognizing that that long straight wire, its only purpose in this problem is that it creates a magnetic field, and then we're looking for the force on this loop of wire in, the, in that magnetic field, in the magnetic field created by I1, by the long straight wire.